my shelves currently are a mess. They currently have Halloween stuff on them, and it is November 2nd. I need to take that Halloween stuff off, and I also just kind of want to reorganize them. I have a whole TBR cart behind me that's full of new books. I haven't done a book haul in forever. When I reorganize bookshelves, it, I tend to take a while to do it. So I think I'm not going to like super reorganize it. I like the aesthetics of the pages turned towards me for some reason. <laughs> I know that bugs some people, but I honestly don't care because I like it. But I have a bunch of new books, a bunch of special editions, a bunch of like things. I want to display. I basically need a whole new Carrie Maniscalco shelf because I have a problem. Time for a reorganization and it's been it's been a while since I reorganized. It's been like this at least since I started my YouTube. This thing that I do sometimes. I just think it's time. I think it's time for a fresh new start. I'm first going to show some new special editions I got that I'm in love with. First is these stunning new editions. Oh, so Stalking Jack the Ripper. I also have inside art. These are the bookish box ones. I didn't actually buy these and I don't really support the bookish box, but these were actually gifted to me. I wasn't gonna say no. They were gifted by a friend who just didn't want them anymore. I like to collect all the Stalking Jack the Ripper books that I can possibly get my my grubby little hands on. And now they are in my collection. I have quite a few copies of Throne of the Fallen. These four shelves are just all gonna become Carrie Van Escalco at some point. Let's just be honest. This is the new Cassia de Clare book. I have yet to read it. A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. This book literally also just came out. I'm in, I'm halfway through it right now, actually. I'm having a hard time getting through it. I have these beautiful creations, which were gifted to me as well. Did I buy these or did you buy these for me? I bought those for you. Do you want to say anything about this set, Gavin? Because you're the one who bought this set for me? <laughs> Gavin? I got my set and put it on my shelf and didn't even look inside the books. Oh. Because <laughs> I didn't know there was artwork. So he bought me the fairy loot set of Lunar Chronicles. When you open the book, the best thing about the books is they have this beautiful, beautiful art on the inside. Scarlet. I, so I would love to display these. I feel like these need... <sighs> This is, might be my favorite inside art one. I really love this one. This is winter. She's thick. The Scarlet Veil by Shelby Mahurin. I also got an arc from this. And you want to take that sticker off? Yes. Okay. I also got an arc of this and never ended up reading it. You can take the sticker off of it now if you want. I also bought... Oh, shit. Percy Jackson, the oh, new no. Percy Jackson book. I actually read this already though. She was a fun time, though it felt kind of like Uncle Uncle Rick was trying to be a little hip with the youngsters and he was trying a little too hard. Valhart Hutzman, because this came out, read the arc of this book. I loved, loved, loved this book. We got, oh, another Carrie Minoscalco book. I bought the paperback of Kingdom of the Fear. And... It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm obsessed. We're fine. Everything's fine. We need to reorganize this. We need to make room for all of this. Now, first things first is I need to get these spider webs off of my bookshelf. And I'm gonna be honest, the spider webs are kind of driving me insane. It's time for those to go. I started this way too late. I'm gonna regret it. Let's just reorganize the whole thing. That's fine with me. Let's do this. I gave up about here and then my boyfriend took over. I'm gonna have to reorganize all of the romance down here basically because they um, are bugging me. For tonight we were able to do 
that, which I'm not hating how it's looking. I'm honestly wondering how long it's gonna stay like this before I move it back to pages facing outward. So we'll see. I kind of miss it already, but we'll try it like this for a while. We'll just see. I, I don't know. The vibe, this vibe is just different. And I don't know why it seems cleaner to me. It just does. But I know a lot of people, this bugs them. And they prefer it like this. So, I don't know. The one benefit of turning all my books around is that it's going to be a lot easier to find my books now. I've been really busy today, like I've been on bed for most of the day, which is rare for me from the past three days. Because the past three days I've just been in a chair. completely honest I do not remember the last thing I recorded I don't know why I thought I'd be able to redo my bookshelf and be on pain medication at the same time was I thought I would be fine I wasn't I don't remember the last thing I recorded I got my wisdom teeth taken out and after that um, I spent a lot of days in bed and I spent some time finishing up my bookshelf but I don't remember what I filmed or what I did really so I was just really, really poor planning. Oh, I got a new phone too. Um, so that happened. I don't know. I've been busy with work and stuff, and so I just haven't been able to um, show this, which I have finished. I don't think I'm super happy with it, honestly. I think I don't think it's the same vibe as the pages facing out. I don't know. It seems darker in here to me. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. I'll give you a quick overview in just a second. But first. I did get another new book in the mail. I got my final edition of Throne of the Fallen in. This edition is stunning. This is the Fairloo edition. So anyways, now I have to try to find space for this on these three shelves, which are my Carrie Maniscalco shelves. So I'm gonna be doing that real quick. I don't, I don't know. It feels more crowded. I don't, it feels more dark. The bottom shelves, are really messy. They're super, super messy, and I wish they looked better. And I might be able to fit it on this one. Um, where do I put you? I don't know where to put Swordcatcher, and I don't know where to put this book. Um, I mean, Swordcatcher, I guess I could just throw it on there, but that doesn't look too great. So that could be hidden down there for now. I guess. Okay, let's do an overview of these shelves. I'm just an overview because I will be doing a new updated bookshelf tour. While my shelves are still like this with all the books facing out, I like the pages facing out so I might swap it back. But before I do that, and while I have uh, normal shelves, I'll show you it this way I guess. We'll see how long this stays this way too. I don't know if it's my vibe. So bookshelf tour time? I think? Bookshelf tour time. Let's, let's do this. Bookshelf tour. 